How's it going guys? Jerry here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Y Egglock. On the agenda for today is to go through that door and wake up the legendary Pokemon Eveltal. But of course, before any of that can take place, let's go ahead and have a quick party recap because that is how I love to start all of my episodes. First up we have Pearl, our Dragonair, level 47, only 8 levels shy from becoming a Dragonite, rocking Dragon Rush, Aqua Tail, Dragon Dance, and Extreme Speed. Next up we have Mikey Mac, our Lucario, level 50, with the moves Blaze Kick, Crunch, Bullet Punch, and Sky Uppercut. Up next we have Dig Dug, our Excadrill, level 52, I believe it's our Ace, rocking Sword Dance, Slash, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. Next up we have Venus, our Shiny Houndoom, level 46, rocking Flamethrower, Ember, Foul Play, and Smog. Next up we have Arthur, our Dewblade, level 51, and she is rocking Iron Head, Shadow Sneak, Swords Dance, and Sacred Sword. And last but not least, we have Ariel, our Raporeon, level 49, rocking Hydro Pump, Aurora Beam, Muddy Water, and Surf. So now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead, walk through this door, and see just what Evelta has to offer. Oh boy. Cutscene initiate. This is bringing back memories. I mean, memories that are three years old, but you know, memories nonetheless. We're in the deepest part of the headquarters. It's in my heart reading here. Hey! Is that thing that looks like a cocoon the legendary Pokemon? It doesn't look like it's alive, but... Holy jeez and rice! Where'd you guys come from? Oh my god. That's none of your business, kids. The ultimate weapon has taken 99% of the legendary Pokemon's energy. But just to make double sure nothing goes wrong, let's take these runs out. No! I hate being chased! And she runs off. Great. Oh, Shauna, this again? Jerry, you take care of things here. I'll protect Shauna. Sure, 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 sure. Alright, bring it on. Come on, you fucks. Come on, you fuck. That girl's pretty good. Yeah, she is pretty good. So, you really think you can beat us? I am more than positive I can beat you. And just because you seem to be the hothead here, let's go ahead and take you on first, buddy. Bring it on, Baldy. Come on. So we have four Team Flare Grunts to take care of, or Adamant, I should say, before we awaken the legendary Pokemon. So, you have a Golbat? Really? You're calling all the shots here and you have a Golbat? That's very, very disappointing. Alright, Pearl, take care of this. Level 50. Okay, this can be dangerous. This can be scary and dangerous. This is scary and dangerous. Uh, Dragon Dance? Acrobatics? Oh god, how much is it gonna do? Ow! Okay, so I'm not gonna leave you in because I don't want you to die. Remember, I said you're 8 levels shy from becoming a Dragonite. I want you to become a Dragonite. So let's go ahead and switch out into... I kind of want to go out into Ariel. Because, in all honesty, I think Excadrill has taken all the glory. So let's go out into Ariel here. Ariel. I don't know why I had so much difficulty uh, <laughs> pronouncing Ariel's name. Arioli? No, Ariel. Let's go for an Aurora Beam. Acrobatics. Now, we are defensive, so this shouldn't do too much. It still does a decent chunk. Aurora Beam. Such a cool animation. Okay, that does half. That does half. I'm pretty sure we can live another Acrobatics. Don't go for Acrobatics, please. Or go for Acrobatics. Oh, my God. Thank God. All right. And down goes Golbat. Why is Golbat so fucking difficult to deal with? I have no idea. Alright, so down goes this Baldi. Three left. Three left. Alright. You're just trying to benefit from our success, aren't you? Not... No, not really, actually. No. I'm not doing anything of the sort. Alright, so that Baldi got taken care of. Let's go ahead and heal up our Ariel and our Pearl. Because it took quite a beating from a fucking Golbat. Which makes absolutely no sense. But let's go ahead and do it either way. Alright, there we go. Nice and healed up. I still want Dragonite to get some experience because I really want to get a Dragonite. Let's take care of you, I guess. Oh, so money makes Team Flare happy. Good to know. Good to know. Team Flare admin, you have two Pokemon. What do you have? Anything weak? A Mighty Anna. Okay. I know for a fact Dragonair can take a Mighty Anna on. It's only a Mighty Anna. Nothing too threatening. And you don't even have Intimidate, which is good. Alright, let's go for a Dragon Rush here. And it connects! Very surprising! Very surprising with accuracy as terrible as that. I would assume it would win a scary face, that's fine. We have E-Speed, nothing to worry about. Let's go for E-Speed, and this should take you out? And it is gonna take it out. Was that a crit? 
I'm not entirely sure if it was needed. But I do appreciate it. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Okay, so Pro is now level 48. And you have a Houndoom. Alright, we're well, not going to stay in for this. We're instead going to go out into Aerial. And then we're going to go for a Surf to knock out this Houndoom. We have come quite a long way, guys. And I'm very proud of me. Well, I'm, pretty pr I'm proud of us. But I'm also proud of myself. Because I'm that type of person that doesn't, you know, keep his Let's Plays in order. And somehow, some way, I've managed to make it like 27 episodes deep into this Let's Play. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty proud of myself. I know that sounded like a, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for here? Self-important? I didn't mean to come off that way, but I am proud of myself. I am proud of myself. Level 53. Oh my lord, Dig Dug. And by the way, question of the day. Pokemon Sun and Moon have just been announced not too long ago. And my question for you guys is, which are you going to get? Are you going to get both? Are you going to get Sun or are you going to get Moon? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I'm the type of person that likes to get both games as they come out. So I will, I will be getting both Sun and Moon. And uh, I, I am actually very excited for these games. It's been three years since this game actually came out, X and Y, that we've received any bit of information relating to new Pokemon. And I am very hyped. I am very hyped. Oh my god, he snatched. It's a good thing we didn't go for uh, Dragon Dance. It's a very good thing we didn't go for Dragon Dance. Alright, let's go for an E-Speed and this should knock you out. Why are you going for Snatch? That makes zero sense. Alright then. You know what? You do you. You do you. Down goes Lipard. We get a nice chunk of experience. What do you have left? And main next trick. We have the perfect thing to take care of you. Dig Dug, where you be at? But yeah, let me know in the comments below. And also, I guess to add on to that question, since it's a new generation, do you guys think that Mega Evolution is still going to be a thing in Gen 7? Personally, I don't see Mega Evolution being a thing in Gen 7. I think they're going to introduce something new in Gen 7. But if they do include Mega Evolution in Gen 7, it's going to be pretty exciting to see what they're going to do and what Pokemon are going to receive Mega Evolution. I honestly can't wait until the holiday season of this year. I wish it was November, December already, but sadly we have to wait quite a while. We have to wait quite a while for those games to come out, which is a little disappointing, but we'll have Pokemon to keep us uh, to keep us busy for a while. Alright, so the final Team Flare member. Let's go ahead and take you on. You have one Mon. What do you have? A Swalla. A Swalla. Am I scared of a Swalla? Not really. Not really scared of Swalla. You're level 50 though, so that is kind of terrifying. Let's go into Executor just to get it over with. Just to get it over with. Because Swalot can't touch Excadrill. Stockpile. Now Swalla is very bulky, but I'm pretty sure an Earthquake is still going to knock it out because we are a fucking Excadrill and we do have Life Orb and it is Stab. And down it goes. I'm very burpy. I just had lunch. I woke up and I had pizza and then I had um, I just drink water before recording so I'm kind of burpy. I do apologize. Down goes this admin. Alright get out of here. No one cares about you. No one cares about you. I want to see the legendary Pokemon Eveltal. I waited so long. No way! This puts the no in no way. Oh. Contact Lysander. Call for reinforcements. Alright bye bye. Alright. Let's go ahead and have a quick save here. I normally don't save in the middle of an episode, but because this is kind of important and I kind of want to catch this thing, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and have, um, I guess we'll have Mikey Mac up in the front because Evelta is flying dark. So it won't really do much to Lucario. Oh God. Oh God. This is bringing back memories. Oh boy! Now I will say this: I prefer Xerneas a lot over e a lot more over Evelta, but I think Evelta is still pretty badass. But I do prefer Xerneas a little more. 
But I mean, look at that. Ivelta is still badass. Oh my lord. Look at this thing! Fucking amazing! Alright, let's do this, guys. Get ready for the best Pokemon song in the entire game. I love this theme song, it's so good. Look at the fucking background! Alright, let's go ahead, and I know this for a fact. I know that Evelta is very, very easy to catch. So, it's not even worth it going for my Master Ball here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ultra Ball. This might actually catch it on the first try, I'm not entirely sure. But I know Evelta is very, very easy to catch. Never mind! Never mind! Oblivion Wing. Is that flying? Is that a flying move? That would be a yes! <laughs> that would be a yes. Actually, you know what? I think going into Aerial is the best thing here. Ah, oh, this theme song is so powerful. I love it. Oh my god, that does quite a bit of damage. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. And, uh, let's go ahead and heal up, Ariel. Oh my god, this is so powerful! Disable? Okay. Let's go for a Muddy Water to lower your accuracy. Don't do a lot. That does nothing. Oh my lord. And its accuracy does indeed drop. Let's go for another Muddy Water. Snarl. Oh, that's why I didn't do so- yeah, it didn't do so much because Snarl actually lowered our special attack. Right, 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 right. Alright, one more Muddy Water should do the trick. Dark Pulse. Don't flinch! Thank you. Oh my god, you avoided the fucking attack. You son of a bitch. This song is so amazing. I love this fucking song. Disable. This theme song is fucking lit. Alright, let's go for another Muddy Water. It's disabled. God damn it. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go for an Ultra Ball then. This should actually catch it. Pretty sure it should. For some reason, they made Evolta and Xerneas very easy to capture. Never mind. I'm sure if we had a Quick Ball, we would catch it in one hit. Or in, in one try. But we kind of don't have that right now. Let's go for a Surf. Oh wait, it's gonna recover HP. That's not good. That is not good in the slightest. And that does nothing. Alright, so an Aurora Beam shouldn't kill you, right? No, it shouldn't kill you. Alright, let's go for an Ultra Ball here. And before crit capture. One. Damn it. Alright, never mind. Never mind. This Evolta is actually proving to be pretty hard to catch. Alright, so my moves are no longer disabled. I still have to heal a Vaporeon here. Motherfucking Evelta. Disable? It's gonna disable Aurora Beam, right? Yeah. Okay then, uh, let's go for another Ultra Ball. I can weaken it more, but I just wanna catch this thing. <laughs> I wanna catch you, Evelta! Please, stay in the ball! One. Two. I was gonna say three, but I stopped myself. Alright, come on, come on. Ultra Ball, go! Alright, come on. One. Two. Three. So close. So close. Oblivion Wing. Bummer. And you're gonna recover HP. God, this thing is being very annoying right now. Should have stocked up on uh, Quick Balls. Should have stocked up on Quick Balls. 
And you flinch. God damn it. Alright, let's switch out. You're not doing anything, Ariel. Sorry, you're not doing anything. Um... I mean, I kind of have to stay in because you're the only Pokemon that can actually take some of these moves. Oh boy, Velta. Being such a nuisance right now. Alright, so no longer disabled. Let's go for a Hydro Pump. Let's keep going for a Hydro Pump. So, strongest move. Stop recovering your HP, damn it! And you avoid Hydro Pump. Of course you do. Of course. How much is it going to do? Nothing. You want, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's throw an Ultra Ball here. We only have 11 Ultra Balls left. So please, Evelta, just cooperate. Take it easy. Calm down. I know you're furious because I just woke you up. But please. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that serious, Evelta. It's not that serious. I can guarantee it. It's not that serious. You know, we'll chillax. You know, we'll have a pina colada or two. Just stay in the ball. One. Two. Three. I guess Evelta's not a fan of pina coladas. You want a margarita? You want some cinnamon rolls? You want some flan? Okay, you're not a bit. Okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine, you know. I get it, you're not a fan of flan. You want some jello? You want a hamburger? Maybe he does. Evelta likes hamburgers. Evelta likes hamburgers. That's fine. We'll have a hamburger three. Thank you for being caught. I appreciate it, Evelta. The destruction Pokemon. When its life comes to an end, it absorbs the life of an. Way to go, Jerry. When its life comes to an end, it absorbs the life energy of every living thing and turns into a cocoon once more. Am I gonna give you a nickname? No, I am not. No, I am not. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yes, I want to add Evelta to my party. Hello. All right. We're gonna go ahead and I guess for only right now we're gonna get rid of Pearl from the team, and then uh, we'll go back to the box and then we'll we'll um we'll get it back to the party. What a relief! Now they can't use the ultimate weapon. You're amazing, Jerry. A legendary Pokemon wanting to be your friend like that—it's unbelievable. What a starting development. I never would have thought you were really a chosen one. All right, Lysander, what's what's going on, buddy? So, this is a mighty Velta. I expected more from a Pokemon called a legend. You desire help from people? You need help from a human? What's going on with that outfit? Is that really you, Lysander? Oh, whatever. Jerry already beat you. What are you doing here? For me, victory is using the ultimate weapon. In order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokemon's power and send it to that weapon once again. I'll be taking the legendary Pokemon back now. This time, I won't lose. All right, Lysander, bring it on, homie. I too shall use the Mega Ring and Mega Stone that you researched during your travels. Again, bring it on, homie.